Hello, this is the Priestess of Moot. I'm back with another video. So this is actually a redo of a video that I did a couple of days ago called um, Folkism and Reconstructionism because I thought that I was doing it accurately, but then I was look, thinking back and going to say, no, no, that's not, <clears throat> that's, that's not, you're, <clears throat> You're not doing it correctly or you're not providing, you know, full information. And I blame my brain for that. <coughs> <coughs> so, one of the, one of the things that I was, I had um, done a, um, a discussion about, you know, is so-called ethnic religions, is this a good or bad for modern-day paganism? A modern-day neo-paganism. Let's be more accurate on what we're actually practicing and not what we're not practicing. So, one of the words that the Congress of Ethnic Religions um, decided on when they were founded was that they were not going to use the word um, neo-pagan, um, that they were not going to use a couple of the words. I don't know all the words they decide not to use. Um, oh yeah, uh, pagan and heathen was another two words that they said they were not going to use because it supposedly is a derogatory um, term, even though people who practice Ossetry will call themselves heathens. So, one of the, one of the things about these so-called ethnic religions is they actually believe they are practicing the same kind of religion that was practiced over 2,000 years ago or over a thousand years ago. The only people that are not deluded to this is people that knows right off the bat that you're not practicing a religion that's been unbroken through the ages. The only exemption to that um, rule is Hindus, Buddhists, Native Americans, people who practice Valdu and Santeria and all that. And I, I, also, I also believe Hoodoo as well. So, instead of calling these religions ethnic religions, um, the proper term I would look for would be ancestral religion. You are, you're practicing um, a religion that your ancestors most likely practiced. So, ancestral religion is more an accurate term than ethnic religion because in all, in all, as in all honesty, your so-called ethnic religion would be Christianity because it has been around for um, close to two thousand years, and it is uh, the religion of an ethnic group, uh, which would be the Greeks, the Romans, all that. So when I posted the question, I had got a Slavic pagan that actually talked about how people are deterred from um, Slavic paganism because of the crazies. And I made a comment, so oh, yeah, you can't have a nice, good, great pagan get together without the crazies. <laughs> the crazies are everywhere. And a lot of times the crazies have a voice. So when so one of the huge reasons that I had brought the question up was to warn um, comedics about the y, YSEE or you see Supreme Council of Ethnic Hellenes. This is the thing about that title. Okay. So it is believed by people who who are members of the YSEE that they are somehow practicing the same kind of religion that was practiced by their ancestors over 2,000 years ago, which is not true. Or whatever delusional idea comes into their mind. So, um, 
one of the things that they tout is that their marriage ceremony is a fertility ritual. Um, and they will not answer questions on marrying barren women or marrying, um, you know, uh, men that can't father children. Um, marriage was not about fertility. It was about the transfer of property. So the delusion that they have is that, oh, this is a fertility ritual, you know, celebrating the marriage of Zeus and Hera. Um, that's not true. The marriage ritual was never about sacred marriage between Hera, Hera and Zeus. It was all about the transfer of property. Women were properties of their fathers, and then they became properties of their husbands. Uh, men could rape their wives with no consequence. Uh, men could have mistresses with no consequence. And that is why a lot of women chose sacred prostitution over being married. So it's not a fertility ritual. They ignore the fact is that women were treated as property. So why do I call it a ancestral religion instead of a ethnic religion? Simply, you are practicing the religion that your ancestors practiced over 2000 years ago. But even then, it's always open to interpretation. Heathens are very clear on, and even Celts are very clear on the fact is that they're not practicing the same religion that was practiced over a thousand years ago or 2,000 years ago or 3,000 years ago. They don't delude themselves into believing this. But people that are part of religions where we do know a lot more about how they practice these religions, though we don't know everything because the church destroyed a lot of libraries, a lot of ancient knowledge was destroyed. Um, they will, they will, I mean, they will use the fact is that there is still a lot written down um, to say, well, we're practicing how it was done over 2,000 years ago, which is not true. So another thing they like to use, these um, people who believe that they have some kind of special connection to the gods because they're so-called ethnic people, um, is they use the word cultural appropriation. That's a very loaded word. They use that word because they know that modern day pagans are very much against cultural appropriation, especially the uh, people that are more um, sympathetic to Native Americans. They use their sympathy to gain some kind of fidelity that they're practicing an ethnic religion and because they're practicing it, because they are the ethnic Hellenese or the ethnic this or the ethnic that, that there are words you can't use without committing cultural appropriation. For example, you can't use the word xenia. Now, the word xenia actually is the basis for the word xenophobe, and xenophobe is fear of the other. Xenia was one of the edifices of Zeus, and basically it was considered wrong to not have hospitality towards the person that was coming in. So it so it it was basically it was you know. Um, you welcome the stranger and you feed them and drink and give them, you know, drink and all that type of stuff. And if they broke the rules of hospitality, then Zeus could come down and punish them for what they had done. But you can't use the word xenia because it's cultural appropriation. The kicker is you can't appropriate dead cultures. There is no way in the world that I'm appropriating a Kemetic religion, worshiping Kemetic deities because I happen to be white. I'm not committing cultural appropriation because these cultures are in fact dead. You know, one uh, one one um, worldview was replaced by another worldview, and that's that's what it is. It is what it is. So. When so when you go and hear people say, "Well, I'm an ethnic Bulgarian and I'm practicing my ethnic religion," no, you're not practicing 
your ethnic religion, you're practicing your ancestral religion. In fact, um, in fact, uh, people who practice Valdu, they definitely will not use the word ethnic religion. They'll use the word ancestral religion because this is something that their ancestors practiced for a very, 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 very long time. So they'll say it's an ancestral religion. People that are practicing hoodoo will say, I'm practicing my ancestral religion. Or people who practice Santeria will say, I'm practicing my ancestral religion. It is only in Europe, only in Europe, that they use the word ethnic. I'm an ethnic Hellenist, so I'm practicing ethnic religion. No, you're not. You're practicing an ancestral religion. So one of the things they also do, and this is actually from um, Tumblr, I think it was. I was Googling, just Googling words. Um, my brother Googled some words and got something really weird, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> um, so they were actually talking about, you know, YSEE -E is anti-LGBTQAI. Um, they are bigots. They're bigots. They're, they're, <clears throat> their organization is extremely um, bigoted. And also they actually attack their own country people because they are still Christian. Um, this is not something that I, I approve of and I just can't stand. But then when you, but then a lot of Hellenists look up to them and go, oh, these people are so awesome. They ignore their bigot, they, they ignore their bigotry, they ignore their anti-LGBT status. Um, they won't marry people that are gay, people that are transgender, and probably definitely people that are infertile. They will not marry them. Um, and of course, yes, everything is, everything is the, everything is, um, everything is the, is the, is the byproduct of Jews and, and, you know, and blah, 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 and all that. And that's what I got from, um, from, um, the, um, um, from this one program I watched. So... I can't even say that I'm practicing um, my ancestral religion, even though deities like Isis and Osiris and Anubis and Horus and Hathor were venerated and honored by Romans. So I guess you could say I'm kind of not. I kind of am practicing an ancestral religion, but I'm not going to say that I am. I'm just going to say that I, that the deities that I honor and venerate, my ancestors imported to Rome. So that's, that's much better to say that. Um, so no, I'm not practicing an ancestral religion. I'm not practicing an ethnic religion. In fact, um, Afrocentric comedics actually do not want native ethnic Egyptians <laughs> to honor comedic deities like they would they would they're freaking muslim seriously you have nothing to worry about but that's but that's gatekeeping you know we're the you know we're the biggest we're the baddest and we're going to make the decision if you can and cannot worship these deities which um is stupid and dumb and all that jazz so anytime you hear the word ethnic, I would really run away from them because they're not practicing an ethnic religion. They're practicing an ancestral religion. And um, they just, they need, to, they need to come to terms that they're not special. They're neo-pagan, uh, they're neo-pagan, they were founded during the New Age movement, and that's what they will always be. Uh, they'll also be bullies, so yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll let the gods take care of them. So I'll see you guys around. Bye.